Hello everyone, Peggy 18. this is The Illegal Base, and uh, today I am talking about Dead Island and um, everything that has been announced in the game. Uh, the game is due to come out on the 6th of September, so it's not that far away, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, let's start off. Dead Island is an open world um, open world you can go anywhere just like borderlands stuff like that um fallout you know you can basically go wherever you want there's no there is a structure to it but you don't have to follow the structures you know you can do anything you know if you want to just go around killing zombies you go around killing zombies if you want to do the quest you go and do the quest if you want to go around and kill zombies and then do some quests you do that you know do anything um, so it's an open world gameplay, uh, and it's it's first person as well, just like Fallout, Borderlands. Uh, you can have four player co-op, uh, and the environment is heavily interactive apparently, which I think would mean that you can grab weapons from um, maybe a, a bar on the floor, maybe you can rip some off the wall, maybe an, a fire axe in one of the hotels, something like that. Um, I've also seen gameplay of driving, so you can you can get in a car, uh, you can use the car, you can run zombies over from a first person perspective, which is cool as fuck. Um, so anyway, right, the game, unlike Fallout and Borderlands, uh, will be mainly focused on melee combat, um, and with that melee combat you can customize the weapons uh, you can customize the vehicles as well uh, and the big RPG elements to the game because there are uh, you can level up the experience there's an experience system with a skill tree system so that means you can level up certain aspects of your character what them aspects are I'm not very sure yet uh, but we will find them out um, the stamina bar that means You've been. You've obviously got a set amount of uh, action with the weapons. Um, so let's say you've got you've, you're attacking with an axe or something like that. You'll have to stop uh, to regain stamina. So you're not. Um, you know. So you, you can't just basically swing your axe as much as you can and be invincible. Uh, you have got a bit of a flaw, uh, which is good. Add a bit more suspense to a zombie game, which we all like. It's also been said that there are going to be special class zombies, uh, which are more powerful than the standard zombies. So, like the uh, hunter in Left 4 Dead, the tank, the boomer, even though the boomer wasn't that special. <laughs> um, yeah, th there are going to be them aspects uh, as well. Obviously, as well as the standard stand there and do fuck all zombies, like there is. As well, there's going to be uh, dark areas in the game, and there's going to be um, nighttime, daytime. They're going to put that in. So they have given you a flashlight to use, which will add a lot of suspense to the game because you'll only be able to see that part of the flashlight. If it's re let's say it's really dark, you'll only be able to see that part of the flashlight, which is good. Uh, there are. There's going to be a weather system as well, so it can be raining, it's going to be sunny and stuff like that, uh, but we don't know about seasons yet, because obviously it's an open world game, you could play it at, you know, you could play it at Christmas or summer and stuff like that, so they haven't said anything about seasons yet, um, but maybe they'll add that, maybe they already have, but they haven't announced it, not sure, um, and as well, um, you remember the... Uh, I actually had the cinematic trailer, the first uh, video that was on. Um, there was a child that was infected in the uh, trailer, but it has been said that there will be no children zombies in the game. For some reason, they, the developers feel that the lack of children adds an element to re of reality, showing that they just didn't make it. That's bullshit. That is, no, I, I, okay, that might sound bad because, you know, children 
It might, it might sound like I'm trying to say that I want children to be zombies in the game, but I don't. Um, it's just the developers said it might show a bit of reality because they didn't make it. If if a child got bit, just like all these vi zombies you're seeing in these videos, like fucking where the f oh no zombies when I'm fucking trying to talk about it. anyway, like that one that just got shot, yeah. What's the difference if an adult zombie got bit and a fucking child got bit? It should, oh, they should put it in. I guess it's just a law and regulation because it seems that you, in Fallout you can't kill child, uh, children, stuff like that. So fair enough. That, you know, it makes sense. You, children can't be in a game and can be zombies and you can't, you're not allowed to kill children in a game so there's no point in putting them in. Um, but that, that, that's bullshit. They, it's not reality at all. They just didn't make it. They were still on the island. They can still turn to zombies. Whatever. Anyway. So the game is set in the Palms Resort. Uh, in fiction, in fictional Banoi. That's what the place is called. Uh, and it's located in off the coast of Papua New Guinea. New Guinea. Sorry. I'm not good at these fucking things. Um, there will be four main characters. Um, I th I'm guessing this is for the co-op side of it. Um, Peggy, 18. And oh god, another name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay, so there's Shian Mia, uh, oh, an impl who is an employee at the Royal Palms Resort. There's Sam B, who is a one-hit one wonder rap star uh, of fading fame. Logan, who's a former NFL star. Um, and Perna, who's a former office officer of the Sydney Police Department, um, they're going to be in the game. Uh, I'm guessing they're for co-op. Um, yeah. And by the way, guys, I'm sorry that I've put this trailer on again. It's just I've run out of footage, and I still need to talk about some shit. Please deal with it for the minute. You might be crying at the moment seeing it again. I'm sorry. Just deal with it. Um, Okay, let me just get through this quick so you don't have to watch that much of it. Um, okay, details about the specific in-game enemies have not have been sparse, but a few enemies have been confirmed. There's the, the, the Suicider, who's a large enemy with boils on its body, and he's re heavily disfigured. Um, the Butcher, a humanoid-shaped zombie with long hair and missing both arms from the elbows, uh, with only bones sticking out of the sockets. Uh, the Thug, which will knock players over, stunning them. Uh, the Ram, a large man wrapped in a straight jacket with a mask covering his mouth. Um, and the Drowner, another large disfigured enemy covered in slime with large red eyes. That's all I know, guys. Um, very sorry if you already know all this. I'm just giving you the information of what I've been given what I've researched myself if you've got any questions leave it in the comment I will try and find you some answers and I hope you enjoyed it guys um, probably a pretty downer of a video because of these quite horrible pictures in the background oh, poor poor family that's right give your child back to the zombies you brilliant father Ugh. Not reverse at all, you're just a bastard. Anywho, thank you for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I will see you all later and enjoy Dead Island. I know I will.